Hello. It is I, the Nug, here first thing in the morning. Because like a little silly, I might have overslept a little. But either way, I am here to deliver part two of whatever happens in this part. It may have melted my mind. So many, well, you know, I don't want to spoil, but Jesus Christ. Anyway, yeah, just came here to say my little hello and goodbye. And yeah, that's it. Bye. Anyway, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> do do we win? <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. We're all gonna die. Oh shit. Well done, Junpei. Holy fuck. Uh as you so correctly deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. I knew you were too fucking sane. I knew it! I knew it! You've had to be a psycho. I retrieved it while we were searching for the missing hardware for the ring. I left the room I was supposed to search and headed to the first class cabin on the B deck. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. Nine is a potent ally in the nonary game. That it is. Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital root. As you can see, nine is a very useful number. Crazy. With it, one can go anywhere, with anyone. It is, I suppose you could say, a game changer. Good thing I was given to the most useless person ever. I mean, my favorite character. So I made for the first class cabin to obtain it. In mere moments, I successfully acquired the number nine bracelet. There was also an unexpected bonus. The knife the ninth man had used. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I quickly pocketed both of them and left. You know, something tells me though, I feel like in both the endings, Ace isn't the one who stabbed me. Because this is just one ending, right? I still have two other endings. Tell me Ace kills me in every ending. I made my way back to where I was expected to be. Well, to be fair, the other ending in the other ending where we see like Ace stab too. I mean, we only checked Clover to see if Clover was alive. I bet he literally was just laying there playing dead. And then, you know, <laughs> went behind us and just killed us all. And then, yeah, I guess I could have been Ace in the elevator too. Maybe literally in every ending, Ace is just going to kill me. That's when I ran into Snake. Well, this guy X, actually. I spotted him ahead of me. To who the fuck is Guy X? He was heading for the large hospital room and had noticed me. The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out, Snake. He turned around. Who the fuck is that? He said nothing. His mouth simply hung half open. Wait. He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. What? Perhaps he had been drugged. It wasn't important. I tend to gloss over little things like that. I was certain that man was Snake. I knew Snake had taken part in the Nonary game nine years ago. What? Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. Is this like, is that actually who's there? Or is that, is it like a dummy or something? Did Snake find a, just like a body on the ship? But why then? Hadn't Snake said anything to me later? Surely he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the Nonary game. But not once did he attempt to confront me. Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Or perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me? Regardless, he was a threat. And it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. Great plan. I had to get rid of him before he took action. With quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. I held the number nine bracelet over the red. 
I waved my own bracelet in front of the red, and then grabbed Snake's arm and shoved his hand against the scanner panel. Well, he also had the door opened. He also had Snake's bracelet, right? Too. So it was like, who is this guy? I threw the man through it. Okay, it's not a, just a body. It's actually someone. Also, I'm thinking now that Snake could probably remove his bracelet very easily. I feel like he can just take his arm off and remove his bracelet, right? So it's possible he could maybe give it to someone else? I don't, I don't know. I don't know who the fuck this is. Nine seconds later, the door shut. 81 seconds passed. Boom. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room when the 1 a.m. bell rang. <sighs> Ace, did you kill Clover? Yes. Damn, all right. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting him to say no. Why? Why did you kill her? She was Snake's sister. It was possible he had told her something dangerous. Additionally, she had gone through door one. All right, dipshit, then why'd you kill me to other inmates? It seemed likely she might have found it. Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? I don't want to. Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one, too. We didn't see anything suspicious. Oh, that's where Clover disappeared, right? Yes. She found something? I thought as much after I heard your report at the central stairs. I doubt the two of you could find it. Mm -hmm. Huh? But perhaps Clover was different. Perhaps she had found it. Didn't I go to through door one at some point? Did, did, did I miss something? I was therefore desperate to find her, and at last I did in the first class cabin. Oh, maybe he's talking about just the, the note to open the locker. I spoke very calmly. Well, how would he know that the locker? I mean, the safe contained. That information. Oh. Did you see it? See what? Don't act as if you don't understand. You were in the captain's quarters, weren't you? Uh huh. What are you talking about? Hmm. Very well. Uh, By the way, what are you doing here, Clover? What? Uh, nothing. There's blood on your shoes. It looks fresh. <laughs> oh, just kill it, someone. Yeah. Did you go take a look at the ninth man's corpse? I see. Your silence suggests that you noticed. You saw something, didn't you? That the bracelet was gone or something you else? Saw that his bracelet oh. was gone. Yeah. No! You aren't going anywhere. You're staying here. No! Stab. Don't you run, little girl. Damn. That was how I killed Clover. Oh, well, thanks, I guess. You Very detailed. Bitch. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I admit it. I've lost. I have lost. Completely and utterly. Don't misunderstand, Junpei. I didn't lose to you. Okay, I'll, all right, buddy. It's okay. You don't have to admit it. I lost to zero, not you. Yeah, it's okay. I, it's okay. <sighs> I'm rather disgusted with myself for falling into such a simple trap. Yeah, you know who laid that trap? Me, bitch. I looked the fool. And it was a trap. Make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by zero. The man I killed in the shower room... If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who Yeah, who, who's that guy? I mean, wouldn't that mean... That means Zero lied, didn't he? He said we're the only nine people who stepped foot on this ship. Is there a tenth person? But he was wearing Snake's clothes. And that was no coincidence. He had also been injected with something that reduced his cognition. And prevented him from identifying himself or resisting me. And we can't forget the components that were removed from the red before we arrived. No doubt that Zero planned all of this. I wonder. Zero made sure I would kill that man. 
It follows, of course, that Zero knew everything I would do. That I would try to take the number nine bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. He also knew the ninth man would, like, freak out and <laughs> get himself killed immediately. I must punish them. For the innocent lies they sacrificed. There's only warning they will receive. Innocent souls might be saved. I now state the truth. Zero. I think Zero is one of us. I don't know. Seems still seems kind of unlikely. Okay, well, if we know who the crazy person is. Is there a one of us? I don't know. I don't know. It's possible. No. Well, if we keep pointing at it, it, maybe it's likely. Okay, well, my th <laughs> Hopefully, my theory that Jude is not a crazy person still stands. So. No. Wait. Maybe Jude? I don't know. Snake. The man who died in the shower room is in Snake. Right. He he's almost certainly still alive. Snake is zero. Maybe he made Guy X wear his clothes so that we don't think he was dead. Hmm. Where's Snake now? He's off somewhere laughing at us. Yeah, he's actually in the corner of the room. No one sees if him. If he is zero, he must have been lying to us about everything else. Is he watching us? Do a little dance, see what happens. I've finished with my confession. Why don't we get moving? What the hell is this shit? You aren't going anywhere, you son of a bitch! We're gonna leave your ass here to rot! Just like, let's, let's just kill him. Why? Because I killed Clover? That's ridiculous. Why are you so upset that I killed the little bitch? Damn! Chill! It's nothing to you. A stranger you only met a few hours ago. Am I wrong? You bastard! Blindsiding me with a punch, huh? You've got some fire, don't you? I confess, I rather like it for me. <laughs> okay, all right, bro. Well, maybe you'd like another one then. Uh, before that, let me give you one of my own. What? Huh? Oh God if damn it! So much as blink, I won't hesitate to pull this trigger. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I knew it. I knew that guy would come into play. Ugh. Great. I've already killed two, no, three people. Don't think I'm not ready to make it four. Three people? What? You killed Clover at not Snake. Three people? What do you mean? Hmm. Very well. Let me take this opportunity to illuminate. Maybe he means in the past. The person who killed the ninth man. Oh. Okay, never mind. Although I suppose to be more accurate, I encouraged him to get himself killed. <sighs> While we were examining the main staircase, he came to me and told me his name. I recognized it at once, so I gave him a little push. Just a little white lie. I'm guessing the ninth man was probably one of the four people. It seems the settings for the dead were altered. Now it only requires a single person to deactivate the detonator in the bracelet. Yeah, he was definitely one of the four people. Investigate what's beyond door five. We'll meet again later. And with that. Okay. Have a good one, guy. <laughs> I forgot what he sounded like. I'm going off ahead now. Well then. See ya, loser. Why is it stopping? God damn it! You lied! Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! Damn, if only he said a name immediately. We might have just... It was him! He killed me! <laughs> it was him! If only he said anything but he and him. I might have just been able to avoid being stabbed two times. Possibly three more. I had 
four reasons for killing him. As I said before, in the Nonary game, the number nine bracelet is of utmost importance. If I had allowed him to keep such a useful tool, he, or it, would have become a threat to me. As such, I decided that he should be eliminated early on. I wanted the number nine bracelet. If I could manage to obtain it, I would be able to manipulate the game as I saw fit. I would be unable to acquire the bracelet unless its owner was dead. Hmm. That's the second reason. Even setting aside his number, he would have been nothing but trouble for me. He was aware of my past. He knew what happened here nine years ago. I mean, wouldn't he have been also, like, <laughs> contributed to it? It was important that I eliminate him before he was able to disseminate this information. Lastly, I wished to conduct a simple test. A test to see if this nonary game was serious or a poor attempt at a joke. I needed to be quite sure. As such, I encouraged him to act against the rules so that I might observe the outcome. I don't get your third motive. What the hell happened nine years ago? Uh... Didn't I say? The nonary game was played. I planned it out and I conducted its execution. Yeah. Why? What on earth was it supposed to do? Why? I don't really think I have any obligation to tell you that. <laughs> You're gonna have to go through the other endings to find out. Damn it! Hey, what's with this gun? Yeah, I probably should have taken Where it. Did he get this? Why don't you tell her, Santa? On the other side of door six, we found a gun in the coffin in the cargo room, right? The bastard must have grabbed it when we weren't looking. Indeed, I did. That was a pretty serious mistake. I tried. Listen, I tried. Just saying you intended to leave it behind. Well, there isn't much time left. I'll be off then. Where are you going? Where can you go with Lotus? Eight, nine, and nine, eighteen. Oh, he can get through the nine door. But where are you going? Do I really need to explain? I had assumed it would be obvious. I have the number nine bracelet, and now I have Lotus. Wasn't there a door with a nine on it in the room that looked like a church? That's where you're going, isn't it? And how do you know that? Santa told me about it while we were looking for Clover. I see. Well, you are correct. That is my destination. But now I must say goodbye to all of you. Ah, and please, don't forget my warning. What was the warning? I forgot. Move and I'll pull the trigger. Oh. I don't need her alive to open the door, you know. Shit. He's getting away! can't risk it now Lotus open the door for me if you would <laughs> goodbye uh bye damn it uh... hey June what happened are you all right <laughs> this, is, this is the same scene but what's that it's to me damn it he's taking my place I'm being cut oh, Jesus you're burning up your fever's back. Are you okay? I'm okay. Oops, sorry. Really, I'm fine. Yeah, you look like the definition you of fine. You should be worrying about Lotus. But... Chunky, don't worry about me. I just need a little rest. I'll be fine. Don't you remember? I just needed to rest a little bit last time. Are you dying? I need to figure out what's wrong with you. Please, please. Save Lotus. All right, I'll go punch his bullets. Think about what Ace has already done, Junpei. When he's got what he needs from Lotus, you really think he's just going to let her walk away? Yeah, no. <laughs> I think she is dead. I don't know what you want me to do, though. He's a gun. You guys go on ahead. As soon as June starts feeling better, we'll follow you. Go. What do you want us to do? <sighs> All right. Come on, Seven. We're going after Ace. Hell yeah. Santa, you take good care of June. I'm trusting you. Got it. Let's go. This ending is gonna be I run at him and he shoots me in the face. Why did you do that? And See them. You think they already went through? Did they even go here? He was lying. 
Maybe. Let's check the red. No? Yeah. Oh, Engaged. there. It's occupied. That means Ace and Lotus went through here. Yeah, it, it seems like it. What do we do now? Yeah, uh, what should we do? Well, the big door is still vacant, but the two of us can't do anything with it. Uh, seven and five. We have zero three. Yeah, not even counting how our digital route is at nine. What's that sound? <gasps> oh, the fucking coffin! I forgot about this! Oh my god, are we gonna open this goddamn coffin? Coming from over there. The coffin? Yeah. Let's open it. Is, is it Snake? How? <laughs> Did you get put in a coffin? I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, you never know till you try, right? The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer 1,000 failures. Who said that one, Junpei? That? I forget. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Aristotle. Hercules. Anyway, we've got to try. Sun Tzu. Damn it. See? Didn't I tell you? If you could just pull it open, why would it have something like that? Right. So unless I put in the right passcode, it's not going to open. Try 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Was there some sort of clue somewhere? Are they knocking the code? Hey, Junpei. I remember you mumbling about some weird numbers over by the bathroom in the first class cabin. You got those numbers by solving the secret message Clover was holding, right? Truth of God. Or something like that. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I think it's a, is it actually the candles up there. I see some are blown out. Well, maybe that number's the passcode for this thing, too. Come on, that's impossible. Those numbers were the code to unlock that safe. Yeah, Zero doesn't use yeah, but the first safe thing password. That safe in this coffin is the same person, right? Zero set up both of these. Yeah, probably. Well, then they might have set the same passcode for both of them. That's ridiculous. <laughs> just try it. I mean, it's not like you'll make things any worse. It'd just be a waste of time. There's no way they're the same number. <laughs> it's just, just part of the numbers. It's gonna take five seconds. The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer a thousand failures. Yeah, so says I, Junpei. <laughs> Who said that? You. <laughs> you did, like, uh, ten seconds ago. Do you have Fine. short-term memory loss? Yes, I do. One, four, three, eight. Three, four, two, one. Okay, wow, that actually was it. You gotta be kidding me. I thought I was gonna have to solve something. Snake? Oh my god, it's Snake! He's, uh... He's kind of tripped out. Why? Ah, those voices. Junpei and Seven, unless I'm mistaken. You have some explaining to do, my boy. Are my others? little... Are they elsewhere? Uh... Clover's dead. The other guy's dead. See, what is I believe I got the gist of everything. What is happening? Why are you dressed like this? Have I been sufficiently caught up? Yeah, mm. but that still doesn't explain why you were trapped in here. We've still got no clue about Zero's true identity, let alone why the hell he's doing all this. Why did he put Guy X in Snake's clothes? Is all this stuff somehow related to that notary game that was played nine years ago? Maybe, maybe the maybe Guy X is one of the four people. It's kind of weird. Hey, Snake, do you know anything? Um, what are you talking about? I apologize, but I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, come on, just tell us if you know. I don't know what to tell you. How can I know something I don't? Okay, what's your last memory? This is bad. We're running out of time. We need to go after Ace. What do we do now? Uh, wait, who do we have Snake now, so... Seven and stake is nine plus me is fourteen. That gives us five. Oh, if we grab Clover's bracelet, we'll have nine. Oh my God, we have a team. The three of us can't make a digital route of nine. Yeah, but the four of us can. We just get five. 
We're stuck here then. Oh, hey, I just remembered something. There's a dead person. We can take the bracelet off. What? What is it? I, uh, I found something earlier. Yeah. What did you find? Did you just take it with you? Yeah. What? Zero's bracelet. What did you say? Are you saying that Seven has the number Zero bracelet? How does that help us in any way? Yeah. Where did you get that? Clover gave it to me. She did? Yeah. How did she come by it? Well, she found it. See, on the other side of door one, A deck, the captain's quarters. Oh. Huh. She asked me to hold on to it because it was too big and bulky for her to be lugging around. He's lying. He even told us earlier. I haven't actually looked at it yet. I didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know. Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one word. He probably said that so Snake doesn't find out about Clover. Oh. Alright, Junpei. It's sure nice knowing you. Oh, he's gonna... Okay. He's gonna go with Snake and... Wait, what? With the Zero Come bracelet. On, man, I'm just kidding. Still, just in case, I want to make sure the Zero bracelet gets picked up by the Red. Snake, give me a hand, alright? So, with the Zero bracelet... I, does that guarantee that everyone could get out of the ship if all nine people are alive? Yep. All right. Huh? Error. Opening? Um, well, the third asterisk lit up, so it must have registered the zero bracelet. Maybe it isn't actually zero. Maybe it's O. Huh? What? That bracelet may not actually produce the number zero when scanned. That is what I'm saying. That would be silly. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't we try a few different combinations? Perhaps we can determine what number that bracelet actually contains. Why wouldn't it just display the number? Are you just fucking with oh, a zero? Right. They decided to use the following combination. Oh, shit, I have to choose. Uh, Snake, Junpei, the bracelet. That would be seven plus something. Let's try Snake, me, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is two. Okay. Oh, never mind. It didn't open. So it's, it's not two. It's right? not two. Uh, Junpei seven the bracelet. Let's try me seven and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is six. Okay, it's six. Why is it six? It opened. Wait. Wait. <laughs> the bracelet that has a zero on it is six. As in the same number June has? There's no way. That was that what? 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 This video's going on for so long. <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'll have to break this into two parts or something. Oh my god, it's not even over yet. What is happening? Yes, so it would seem. That means the bracelet is actually six. But how is that possible? The display on the bracelet clearly shows a zero. Zero is six. Oh man, that's not good. I guess our time's just about up, huh? At any rate, we know now that the door can be opened. Let's go. But, Snake, are you sure? Yeah. You know that only Junpei and I can go through this way. You needn't worry. I have a solution to this problem. Yeah. My last resort. But if now is not the time for last resorts, then when? But I don't know. Last resort? Oh yeah, can wait. Can you just attach his arm with a bracelet on it and then just come with us?
All right. Gotta admit, you really surprised me there, kid. I couldn't figure out how the hell you were gonna get out of that one. How come you didn't do that right off the bat? As I told you, it was a last. Oh game. yeah, he definitely did. Had I used it at the beginning of the game, I would have come under a great deal of suspicion. I imagine that most people would have taken it to mean that I was zero. Once they'd convinced themselves of that, I wasn't optimistic about my chances of making it out of here alive, let alone unscathed. I felt it best to play my cards close to the chest, as it were. That way, if I were in a situation where there was nothing else I could do, like being trapped in a coffin, I'd have a little trick up my sleeve. I'd just take my bracelet off. My brother's left arm is, um, it's not like a normal person's arm. Yeah, he's weird. He's not a normal person. It's not a real arm. <laughs> I know this is kind of a weird thing to say, but I'm glad that's the take on. You don't have to be afraid of the door if you don't got a bracelet. You are correct. I think these stairs connect to the bottom deck. Doesn't look like it's underwater. Let's go through that door. Oh, oh boy. I think I'm about to approach death. Incinerator? Oh my. <laughs> that doesn't sound very pleasant. Oh my. That was my reaction. Oh my. You see a lever near the gate, perhaps. Yeah, right over here. How did you know that? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story. I imagine it should only take half a day. He has echolocation. <sighs> if you pull it, the door ought to open. It ought to. You're still holding her? God damn it. <laughs> well, she's dead now. Oh god. Why? Another nine door? Why is there another one? I mean Emergency incineration command. Uh oh. It's been acknowledged. Oh yay, that sounds like fun! Oh my, how exciting. <laughs> You've run quite a show here, Zero. What's the matter? Too frightened to understand? Here, let me explain. It's said that the incineration system is about to activate. Yeah, uh, uh we heard, dude. In nine minutes, this room will be engulfed in flame. Hmm. Who are you? You don't recognize me? I'm hurt. It's me, Snake. It's me, Snake. Snake. Oh, yes. You are alive. I'm afraid your bizarre style had me confused. I'm quite glad to see that you're alive. <laughs> All right, buddy. Hmm. If you don't mind my asking, how did you get here? Snake, Junpei, Seven. The three of you couldn't have opened a door with a knife. Hmm. Did you use Clover's bracelet, perhaps? Well, that was my idea. What? Ah, well, your reaction suggests that you did not. Uh, hold on. Why did you think we'd have Clover's bracelet? Oh. oh, they haven't told you? Told me what? Hmm, clearly not. Normally I would take some time and enjoy the moment. But I'm afraid my time is at a premium just now. I'll have to make this quick. Clover. Don't do it, Ace! Keep your goddamn mouth shut! Clover. I said stop! <laughs> Clover, you just... Keep doing it over and over. Clover, stop. Clover, stop. Don't listen to him, Snake. What happened to Clover? Clover died. No, that's not true. That's impossible. It's a lie. It has to be a lie. Yeah, he's lying. I believe him. Oh, it's quite true. I can assure you of that. I killed her myself. You see. What? I'm sorry. Oh shit! He opened his eyes. It's over. bullet in her brain perhaps would have been ideal unfortunately that would have made quite a bit of noise circumstances being what they were i was forced to settle for the ninth the one the ninth man had you remember man he's really uh did a good job keeping his crazy aunt <laughs> it's just insane i believe i caught her just below the shoulder blade 
I was rather lucky, in fact. My first thrust went right between her ribs. Her flesh was so <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ace. My knife slid in so easily. There was no resistance. That feeling was... I confess, I feel rather excited. It is a powerful memory. Someday, perhaps, I hope I can feel it again. Acceleration will begin in seven minutes. I'm going to kill you. Get him. Hmm? What was Can't that? shoot all of us if we all ride in different directions. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Ah, so you are going to kill me. Please do. Come now. I'm waiting. Don't do it. Don't listen to him, Snake. Stop it, kid. He's screwing with your head. Is there a problem? What are you waiting for, boy? Don't you want me to send you to join your sister? Don't! The snake! Don't do it! Uh... Oh... Yeah, it's over. Snake! Snake! Yeah, there you go. Lotus! Hurry! This way! Acceleration will begin in five minutes. Well, we're doing a great job. Give me the woman. I need her. Without her bracelet, I will be unable to open this door. I mean, at this point, can't you just shoot us all and <laughs> just take our Quickly bracelets? Now. I don't have time for your shenanigans. I have time for shenanigans. My middle I name see. is Shenanigans. Then it would seem I have no choice. The rest of you must die as well. Fortunately, I have five bullets left. All right, guys. We just have to dodge five bullets. Everyone, start, like, doing inspirational dances. One for Junpei, another for Lotus, and the last three for that lump of idiotic man you call Seven. Damn, that's harsh. <laughs> I will take Lotus's body with me and leave this room. All right. Everyone start dancing. Interpretive dance. Go. Well, it looks as though our time together is at an end. I rather enjoyed playing with you. Damn it! Goodbye. Bye. Kill you. Snake still alive? God damn. What? No. That's impossible. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. S stay away from me. Get back. Stop. If you come any closer, I'll... I'll... Get away from me! <sighs> Listen to me! I said, don't come any closer! Oh my good lord. You, you bastard! Oh, another one! Two! Oh! Oh, he saw! Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> How are you still standing? What is happening? Wow, Snake just saved her life. Oh my god, he's like an immoral. You won't get away. Get him. You son of a bitch. You you're a monster. Get off me. Let me go, damn you. This is it. Ace. He's going to crawl inside you. Going to burn to death. Together. Um I don't really want to burn to death. Is this how this is gonna end? We're all just gonna die here. Damn it! Damn you! Get off! Let me go, you monster! Okay, okay, okay. Look, think about it this way. My company owns a wonderful hospital. It has excellent doctors. You're not wounded too seriously. I, <laughs> I'm sure they can fix you easily. Six bullets is nothing. We can get you chippy topped up. You don't have to die. You could be saved. Just let me go. <laughs> yeah, good, good good luck with that one. Pathetic. Begging for you. Pathetic. Life. Snake, that's enough. You can stop now. Yes. He's right, Snake. You've done enough. Come on, Snake. Let's go. Let's get out of here. You have to come with us. We have to leave together. Yeah, I don't I don't see that happening, I'm gonna be honest. I apologize. But 
I'm afraid I can't do that. Damn, we thought you were dead the whole game, only to find you and then watch you die again. If you best forget about me, you need to leave soon. I'm going to take him with me. Shut up! Be quiet! I couldn't save Clover. My sister died because of me. Perhaps this will begin to atone for that. Perhaps in the afterlife, she can forgive me. Now go. Go. Now. <laughs> he doesn't even care. You oh, God. Go. Incineration will begin in one minute. God damn it! Shit! We're out of time! We gotta go! <sighs> uh, Junpei, what are you doing? You have to get out of here now! No, Snake. There's nowhere else to go in this ending. I have to die here. Snake! Snake! Wait! Don't be an idiot, Junpei! No! No! I have to help Snake! 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 Get off of me! Let me go! Incineration will begin in 10 seconds. <laughs> this feels like... I thought this was going to be another ending where I just die. I feel like I'm going through an actual, like, ending of the game. He just knocked me out. I'll buy you two. Bye, Ace. Bye, little shit. Why? Why me? I don't deserve this! Yeah? SME! SME Zero! Why? Why? <laughs> zero! Zero! Die, you stupid bitch. Goddamn zero! demon lord. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Happy ending? <sighs> hey, wait! Junpei! Junpei! Where are you going? You stay here. I'll go get Santa and Jun. You're gonna bring them here? How? Uh, magic. Don't worry about that. Just stay here and wait, alright? <laughs> I saw an elevator on the way here. If I can get it to work, then maybe oh, this work. We could just get there without going through the door. So, yeah, there's there's guaranteed a way to get everyone through the game without dying. Of course, we have Ace on our teams. Just fucking psycho, so probably not. June! Santa! Oh my god, I swear to god if they're like fucking murdered, I'm gonna... I might just have a stroke. Damn it. They're not even here? Where did they go? Where did you silly billies run off to? Damn, I checked everywhere. And then I gave up. Oh no, I'm here. I swear, I swear to all the gods. Connie. What? Honey. Uh. It, it can't be. It's, 
It's impossible. Please tell me he's just asleep. Connie! Connie! Connie, are you alright? Jumpy? Hi? Uh, are you... Oh man, Connie, what the hell happened to you? You, you feel... Jumpy, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I might not make it. What, what happened? Are you stabbed? No way, no way I am going to let you die. I am going to save you, I promise. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much. Everything. I was really happy to see you again, Jumpy. Really happy. God damn it, Kept No one could be happy in any ending. Don't give me that I was crap. You're gonna see me again lots more times. You just gotta hang on. All right, Connie. Where's Santa? What happened? Did you know you meant a lot to me when we were kids? I've liked you for a long time, Junpei, a really long time. What? Excuse me? Zero. You son of a bitch! Where are you hiding? As in, in my arms right now, dying? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, why? I don't... No. No, it hasn't. I'm not gonna let it end yet. Yeah, I have two other endings to get, at least. I'm gonna get out of here with Connie. Watch me. Why? The fuck you. I, I'm trying to see every ending. <laughs> No, I have the power of going back in time. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? I told you, I am not going to lose. What? <laughs> Wait. What? What if, if? What? So, Jude died, and then the game ended. Isn't that even further indication that June is zero? Connie, wait here. I'll be right back. I promise. <sighs> Or... Where are you? Ugh, I don't... Fuck, Jesus Christ. Out first. Where's Santa? C Connie. She's gone! Oh, God. No, no. Where is she? Connie. Connie! Connie! I turned around for, like, two seconds. Uh... Huh? Wait. This is... Uh-oh. What is... What the f... What the f... I woke up today, I'm like, oh, you know what, I can't wait to record this small episode of 999. I'll get to see another ending, I'll probably just die in it, you know, probably another getting stabbed ending. No, I'll upload that very quickly. Because, you know, I don't have much time today. That was two hours ago. What the? What is happening? What is happening? Was that? I don't. 
Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Well, that answered a lot, I think. So Ace, Ace was the insane one. It's probably the one who killed me and everyone else in the other two groups. And, uh, and, I mean, it seems like, it seems like June is zero, right? I mean, I feel like the end or is it? Yeah, sure, whatever, whatever, kid. Holy shit, that was fucking roller coaster. Saw the zero lost ending. Huh. Let's see, but. Alright, calm down. Oh my god. See, he... that's called the zero's lot. Why? Oh my, like, <laughs> I mean, it can't be a coincidence that the bracelet has zero on it is six, and you to six. And then, as soon as she d died in that ending, zero lost? But that zero didn't lose, and the other times Connie died. I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know. Well, at least we solved one mystery. I mean, I think. <sighs> well, <laughs> what's? Hold on. This is door six. This is door two. Okay, we have to go through the other door. I just fucking get two more in. <sighs> fucking hell. All right. Well, that fried my brain. I'm just flabbergasted, bamboozled, completely and utterly shit fizzled. But, uh, I'm gonna have to end it there. This is gonna have to be two episodes. God, I didn't want to go two hours today. I just wanted to make a short episode. Oh, whatever. Okay, well, I, I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to leave a like and a comment if you did. And if you... And... And something. Brain. I hope to see you all next time. I'm gonna go lay down. Till then. Bye.